Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on PLC tutorial series. In this video, we'll understand the concept of digital inputs outputs, analog inputs outputs, insistence with factory IO environment devices. So let's say for the first demonstration, we'll use digital input output in factory IO. Here, if we go down, we can choose electrical panel box. Here, we'll bring in two digital input component. The first one is our start switch. So drag and drop and to bring it up, press control V. Okay. We can see that it's a start button and it's pressable. Similarly, we'll bring in another stop switch, start and stop. These two switches gives us digital input zero or one. Again, we'll need digital output also to demonstrate this digital input output operation. So let's bring in a conveyor belt. So this conveyor belt has a motor with it. And once I give power to this motor, it will turn on and uh, it will roll the contents above this conveyor belt. If I remove the power, it will turn the conveyor belt off and the operation will stop immediately. This is an example of digital output. So to simulate this uh, setup, we'll go to file. From here we'll go to drivers. So in this uh, interface, you will find the list of microcontrollers available for this software. Uh, we have Siemens logo with us. So I'm choosing this one. Now we need two inputs which are digital inputs. The first one is start button. So let's bring it here. And the second one is stop button. Let's bring it here. So this start button, uh, this is in no contact connection. And this stop button, we can see that it is already energized. So these two will be our digital input. And we have our roller conveyor which has a motor with it, electric motor. So this will be our output. You can do the configuration of PLC to get connected with this factory IO network. So go to configuration. Here you need to put the IP address for your PLC. Then you need to choose the adapter, Realtek PCIe GB family controller. Choose this one and from the bottom panel you can choose the number of inputs and outputs you want to use let's say uh, we want to use uh, two input and one output so hence i am putting two and one now if i go back you can see that my plc input and output has been reduced to two input and one output so remembering these uh, memories these memories are virtual memories from network start switch is connected to v0.0 .0 and stop switch is connected to 0.1 and this roller conveyor is connected to q1 now we will go to our logosoft comfort software which we use for logo plc programming it is from siemens brand so we'll go to logosoft comfort here you, you will need to open a new file, new ladder file, and then you need to rename it uh, as your desired project. So I have already opened a file for this program. We have two input to mention those input. To use those input, we'll go to instruction. Under this instruction, we have constants. In this constant, we have digital and analog input output pins digital and analog input output contacts so make contact is used for start switch in operation let's bring it here and i am choosing i1 for now i will change it later i need another contact that is again make contact choosing i2 for now 
for relay we need to use this relay coil that will uh, indicate our output if you want to do the latching operation you need to bring in another make contact for q1 search q and it will bring in q1 here well the connection is almost complete now as the inputs are from our factory io environment these switches we are using for input these switches we are using for inputs these are not physical switches these are from network and these are providing inputs from network in using virtual memory so for that reason we have network input block under this constant we need to bring in this network con input in our canvas as we have two network input we will bring in two network input block here the first one is 0, 0.0 that is 0, 00 and the second one is 0, 0.1 so 0 and 1 the first start switch we are using for this project will be our ni1 network input 1 and this ni2 that is our stop switch i'm writing is it as ni2 so this ni2 and ni1 are our my digital input for demonstration and q1 is my digital output which is basically the conveyor belt my program is almost complete let's upload this program to my plc you need to go to network project first and here here you need to add your plc device connection so choose add new device here put your plc related addresses then again come back to diagram mode from tools go to pc2 logo here you need to choose uh, the proper connection method I am choosing Ethernet and the Realtek driver. Then you can press OK to upload the program. The program is being transferred. Once that uploading is done, you need to switch it to run mode. Now, my PLC device, which is connected to my PC, has the program I have just provided through the Ethernet cable. Let's uh, go back to factory io setup this factory io setup now has a connection with my plc to establish the connection we need to go to file and drivers again you can check it here if you have a green tick here that means your pc is connected to your plc if it is not you need to go to configuration and here you need to put the host address that is the ip address of your pc plc now let's go back and if I run this uh, virtual simulation you can see that the conveyor belt is in off mode we can press this start button and it will immediately start the conveyor belt for better simulation we can use a uh, emitter here so emitters are basically uh, a block that will a block that will emit boxes on our conveyor belt so you can do the alignment first okay it's in right place i also need a remover so let's place it on the other side of the belt okay now it's better to visualize the setup okay now if I run the simulation, you can see the conveyor belt is running. Now if I want to stop it, I can use this stop button. So this start and stop buttons are example for digital inputs. And this conveyor belt we have just used now is example of digital output. Now let's move to analog input and output. In this section, we'll see how we can use analog input like potentiometer to control an analog output. So 
we'll do the modification in the previous uh, model let's say to keep it simplified we we have only an analog potentiometer for our control knob if we go to operator it will give us the inputs for factory io from here we can choose potentiometer so this potentiometer this does not only give zero or one it gives a range of values and you can configure that also if you right click on this potentiometer it will give you a configuration window where you can choose the range you want to control for the potentiometer like 0 to 10 or minus 10 to 10 or minus 5 to 5 so let's say we are choosing minus 10 to 10 this will give us the opportunity to control this knob from minus 10 value to 0 then 0 to positive 10 we also need to modify this conveyor belt to act as analog output if you right click on this conveyor it will give you configuration menu from here you can choose digital digital plus minus or analog so you need to click on analog now if we go to file to driver we'll see we have one input as potentiometer which has the blue tick icon so this blue icon does not uh, go with this green connections rather we will need to use the later ones that has blue icon on it so this potentiometer i am connecting to vw200 and we have one output this output we have uh, connected with aq1 so these connections are okay for now we have one analog input and according to that input our output that is roller conveyor will be controlled okay so that's all for this factory io setup let's go to our logos of comfort software to design the diagram of plc in the logos of comfort software on the left hand hand side that is the constant it has a block called analog network input so we need to bring this on the canvas if you right click on this you can choose the vw address as we have seen in factory io our potentiometer input is connected to vw200 that is why we will choose 200 value here now this network analog input for this we need one analog contact we can see here we have analog contact block here we need to drag it on the canvas choose n a i1 that is the network analog input connect it to power rail and we have one analog output that is our conveyor belt let's choose analog output coil relay coil from here and you need to connect it to here and for final polishing you can check again our potentiometer is connected to vw200 and our ruler conveyor is connected to aq1 so as per the connection this is connected to aq1 and analog input is connected to vw200 well uh, that's all for the ladder diagram for now if we choose tool to transfer pc to logo put your ip address here and press ok it will upload the program to our plc and you need to switch to run mode now go to factory io and check if your plc is connected or not from here you need to run the simulation you can see our box is not moving because we have not switch it yet that is our potentiometer is now at zero point you can see the value of potentiometer from view and dock all tags just uh, let us keep the potentiometer and roller conveyor now the potentiometer has zero value we can rotate it and we can see the speed is slow to increase the speed we can also use this dial as we are increasing the value the speed of the conveyor will be increasing this is the maximum this is the maximum speed again we can go down to zero going down to zero will stop the 
conveyor you can go backward also which will turn the conveyor belt in the opposite direction so this is how we can use analog input for controlling the speed of conveyor belt as well as the duration of conveyor belt let's say you want another example or another demonstration you can also do so for this purpose we will use uh, water tank where we can control the speed of water flow using potentiometer let's go to stations from here you will find tank so let's bring it here so this water tank has a valve the valve which is fill valve this fill valve is a analog output which can be configured using our potentiometer so go to file press driver from here we need to choose this fill valve and connect to to eq1 the program we have uploaded in plc will also work here so now we have taken this water tank which has a valve that is fill valve and we can use this fill valve as analog output and to control that fill valve we can use this regulator also we can use this uh, scale here to tune the regulator so let's say we want to increase the speed of waterfall so here you can see water is falling at a rate if you want to increase the rate you can increase the value also and here you can see the effect has taken place so water is falling at a greater rate you can again control the valve and go down to zero it will stop the valve as there is no reversing mode in water tank so that's negative that's why negative value will not work on water tank you can also configure for this water tank using this potentiometer stop this simulation go to potentiometer and configure it to 0 to 10 this will eliminate go to view and dock all tags from here we need to keep the fill valve only okay so now we can increase 0 to 10 so when we are choosing 10 the waterfall rate is maximum we can slow it down by controlling the analog input that is the potentiometer we can go all the way down to zero so this is how we can use analog input like potentiometer to control analog output like fill valve of a water tank